Let's crack the bonnet and see yeah. what looks underneath here. Absolutely. So oh, nice. Yeah. Three oh eight. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, my understanding is it's a, it was a factory five litre four speed manual, yep. as I mentioned. But I'm not sure if the engine is the original one or not. I do know that it's got a MSD. It looks like six AL or MSD ignition system on there. Yes. Um, and it appears to be running a, at least a mild cam or. Um, a bit, a bit hotter than mild, but definitely not solid. Yeah, and apart from that, as I said, the gearbox has been um, upgraded or changed out, um, yep. and it's got extractors on there as well. So perfect. Um, and you were also talking about when we were, we were chatting earlier before this. This car's only done eighty thousand original kilometres. Yeah, that's my which understanding. Which is still low for this model car. Oh, absolutely. So. No, but this is, it's a nice clean engine bay. I think it's a perfect little bloody car. Yeah, no, right. I'm very, very chuffed with it. This it, just needs to get back on the road. It does, absolutely, absolutely. But then I, I don't know if I could afford the insurance for it if I drove it on the road. Ah, <laughs> you do it under C4C. Ah. Because once you do the, it's under C4C with yep. the actual, the rego side of things with both cars, join a club, get yep. the C4C done, takes it from 800 uh, a year down to around about 164 per car. Yeah, that's uh, fantastic. And you've got 90 days to drive around in. Beautiful. And then you can afford like things like extra insurance and other bits and pieces because yeah. you've got it covered. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I am a little bit worried that when I do finally register it, I pay stamp duty on the amount that, it, that it's worth at the time that I register it. And um, yeah, I assume that they're going to sting me pretty hard. But. Oh, when I registered mine, I only registered my same man for 30000 <laughs> Because for I got it registered like this. Yep. And then after I did all the work on it, it was worth like 130 but <laughs> it was like this when I registered it. Yeah. So if you can get this down to basically be driven and on the road and registered now, mm -hmm. as is, then yeah, you're not paying as much. Yeah, that's one thing I did notice is while we're on the under the engine bay, it was actually the first time I realised how, uh, I guess how nice the paint job really was. Mm. The, the outside looks good, but it was when I saw it was all in the guard, um, the radiator support panel, um, nose cone and everything is all, uh, yeah, in the exact same like high quality finish. So It's uh, very good, like someone's obviously when they did it, uh, or, or if the original paint, whichever way, They've taken care of it, but it does look perfect. Original would have, I think, would have been black on the on the art, on the guards and stuff. Or well, that like depends this. on how the person order it from factory oh. too, because I've also known people that have had a car come out of the factory, but the dealership painted the engine bay the colour oh. that they wanted. Oh, um, see, before so. my time, the more you know. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, the dealerships had ownership to do whatever they wanted. So if someone wanted a car with certain things, the dealer could change it around, mix it up however they wanted it. Unfortunately, that's half the battle with like some of the older cars. They don't know what the dealers did compared to what it did when it came out of the factory. Yes. Um, but Holden had pretty good records compared to Ford. So <laughs> Ford, you, you might as well give up. You don't get anything out of them. Let's go to the yeah. interior now and see what we can have a look at in there. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we talked about the interior at the front of the car, but this thing is just neat in here it obviously but otherwise the seats are immaculate like they look like they're brand new like they've just come out of the factory the dash is really good even the, the crash pad on top is not too bad it's got yep. a little hole in it but sure. not much um it's a, just a pity they didn't do that neat with that monster gearbox that way yeah <laughs> uh, that's a little bit like oh okay how you doing absolutely <laughs> No, the, the interior is absolutely insane. It's, uh, yeah, absolutely blew my mind. I couldn't believe it once I actually wiped the, the dust off. Absolutely mind-blowing. And as you pointed out, the one of the, the biggest flaws in the interior, like no pun intended, uh, they've cut out a part of the uh, is it transmission tunnel yeah. Uh, housing, uh, yeah, which I have in the boot of the car somewhere uh, yep. to make way for the bigger shifter and the, the box, I think, because of where it exits uh, well, is traditionally different to the M21. So Yeah, that's not done, but that's it's okay because you can replate that area. Yep. Uh, but otherwise, like, yeah, you've got a couple of little blemishes on the bubbles here, but yep. the interior is great. Like, I love it. You know, the back seat and the actual door trims are pretty damn good. You wouldn't have to do much with your interior at all. No, and I, I really like the black as well. It, it looks great and it suits the coupe really well. So. The one little thing I did notice that they modified or changed is the drivers uh, be called yep. um, is is uh, different to the other ones, and that's obviously not period correct. But um, 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they change theirs, but uh, they, have. Uh, they won't be too hard to get those kind of things. And uh, like you said, there's plenty of people doing those kind of uh, reproduction stuff now. Yeah. Um, rare spares, uh, like the guy that Dan said as well. Seek out solutions. Seek out solutions. Yeah. They do a lot of stuff these days for Ford and Holden. Yeah. Uh, and Chrysler. Oh uh, yeah, those kind of people are great. Um, if it ends up with some sort of Coulson or uh, racing seat in there, it's going to end up with four point <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with Fair harnesses. Uh, yeah, perfect. absolutely. Just check them out as well in uh, better detail. Yeah, they definitely are good. They're fantastic. Right. The back seat looks like it's never even been sat in. It's that good. It's amazing, and even all the roof lining, everything is is perfect. It's, yeah, uh, like that's the good thing about it. You don't even have to do anything in this in the interior much at all. I mean, you got the trim here that's missing. That may but, be in the boot. Uh, I don't know if I should show you guys. It's a bit embarrassing, but there is uh, enough to build half of another car in there. So I'm trying to figure out what goes with what. Not uh, fair. The other thing I, di I did notice, and as I said, I'm learning because these weren't the cars that I grew up in as such. It's got the uh, wood grain or wood look dash in there, and I actually was fortunate enough to get a spare fascia with it as well. Yeah. Um, but I think it's. I think it's. But these, some of these actually came out with. They either came out with black, silver, all the wood grain. Yeah. So. It's factory, um, especially the LSs. I think the LSs were different from the GTS. Yes, yep. So they had that's what made them stood needle. out a bit more. Uh, but uh, this is good, like the fact that you've got everything intact. Uh, Even all the carpets, so like ev everything, there's no real yeah. of signs of, of wear and tear, damage, um, other than, no. as you pointed out, on the, the, the dash crash pad. No, line. and obviously they've changed the little things here and there. Like obviously that. the handbrake is a different setup to what it should be for the rest of the interior. That annoys but, the hell out of me. <laughs> that that yeah. one bit of tan or uh, sham, sham. Yeah, it's you like if, <laughs> if, if you did change anything in here in the past, then why didn't you change that? But yeah. at the end of the day, that like I said, once you get that information, you'll know exactly if this came out with a black interior or it came out with a tan interior. So, yeah. yeah, you'll be able to sort that out. One thing I've learnt recently as well is uh, the cost of all this chrome trim is um, uh, phenomenal. You, you get, and getting it re-chromed? Oh, that's, yeah. That's, oh, the arm and a leg. Yep, absolutely. Arm and a leg. We're in the wrong industry, so. Yeah, and a lot of people are actually not even getting stuff re-chromed in Australia. They're sending it overseas, getting it done and bringing it back because it's, one, WA, we don't really have many chromers left yep. over here. Um, and they can't do it to the old spec either because of the chemical solutions. They're sure. not allowed to use it anymore. Yep. So it's not as deep as what it used to be. Yep. And you can do so. like double and triple dip sort of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like other, uh, you can get similar ones from uh, the rare spares and and Holden. Uh, what is it? Classic Holden in uh, uh, Mannington. They do a lot of these trims and stuff like that where you can get half decent ones. Oh, awesome. I wasn't um, sure yeah. if it was for the Coupe as well. I know that for the for the four doors they do. And I just yeah, I think they sure. do anything from, um, uh, from my understanding is anything from a HG upwards to a mm -hmm. uh, uh, Commodore. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there you have to go to like um, Holcom. Okay, um, sure. And then the whole com start doing from the Commodores upwards. Ah, so, fantastic. Yeah, but they're both in Mannington, so it's easy to get to. If one doesn't have it, you go to the next one. So, Perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but these ones, definitely classic um, old in Australia. Uh, now, what, one thing that did I found very interesting, it's got the original, um, it looks like a, a mobiliser or alarm uh, oh, sticker yeah, on yeah. there, which I thought was pretty cool. So. Yeah, well, the fact that you still got that one as well, the Penrite one. Oh, I didn't even notice you know, that. <laughs> Um, because they either was either the Penrite or what the Castrol GTX or GTS mm -hmm. uh, stickers that they used to do for the servicing. Oh wow! So no, nah. like mine had the original um, Holden sticker, service sticker on the door trim. Oh, okay, very so, cool. So yeah, and the good thing is, um, I think it's um, what is it? Stick this decals. They yep. do those actual um, stickers again for oh. the service badge. Yep. So you give it to your, uh, the guy that's servicing your car and you can stick it on there and oh, that's yeah, awesome. keep it going. So That's cool. All right, something I'll look into. Yeah, yeah. all the reproduction stickers, a whole lot. Excellent. Definitely a market for it. Yep. I think what we should do is have a look around the car. Yeah, absolutely. Sale though. This is yep, my trove yeah. of treasures. Yep, yep. So let's have a look what's in here. Just need the... Holy crap, you, you yeah. have got a fair bit in here. <laughs> There's some nice hubcaps in that uh, styrofoam box. This, I have yep. no idea what they are. I thought they looked like long enough to be off of the coupe door, but it turns out they are not. 
Definitely um, not. These look like parts of the pan or the, the tunnel of a transmission house. Yeah, that does. Some sort of an eight track uh, original radio. Air Chief. Yeah, yeah, okay. Some lenses. I was very impressed with the. Oh, you got your original steering wheel in there. I got here. a few spare steering wheels in there. And you do too, as well. But of yeah. Shifters. But you definitely got the original steering wheel, which there's is good. A jar of Vegemite. Oh, the a shifter. Hey, look, this is awesome. Ah, uh, that was off my Kinger, actually. That Bloody was my hell. shifter. So, Nothing wrong with that shifter. So it kept coming loose. <laughs> <laughs> So I ended up arrow darting it onto the action and then I couldn't get it off. So then when I changed my, I got the gearbox rebuilt recently yeah, yep. and then, so yeah, I just had to. No, that's wicked. Out. I like that. It's very cool. It's Something different, you know? Cheap aftermarket Chinese sort of crap, but I like yeah. it. Got a couple of spare HQ grills, but um, oh, yeah, dig in guys. <laughs> these things are bloody expensive. It's like trying to get these. I don't even know what that is. That's it's off the, the side of the seat. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Like these are expensive to get these days. Um, even like. My ones that are on my car are uh, like plastic, yes, and they're one hundred and ten dollars each, oh. and it's only half of this. <laughs> it's plastic. It's shit. Well, I'm about to rebuild a set of those for those seats that I got. Yeah, yeah. and um, there's a guy doing all the cogs inside, all the yeah. replacement parts for them because there's teeth ripped off my cogs. You know, so yeah. I'll be in touch with him. But he's reproducing that whole thing. Yeah, all the parts except for the except for this the outside. Yep, yep. But all the cogs and everything, I think. The whole set for about 580 bucks. Oh, like oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is pretty good. So you sell them individually if you only need one or two bits. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I've got two HQ grills there that I've seen. Well, that's good. Oh. Got a bit of a crack in one of them, but otherwise it still looks pretty good. I'm sure people are probably cringing at me breaking stuff. Oh, but, uh, no, I'm pretty sure they're all looking at it going, what can I get from him? <laughs> Not for sale, guys. But, uh, some of these I uh, thought that's were... That's awesome. Yeah, like some of them look like yeah, that original. Yeah, that's wicked. I don't know what that piece is. That's really. the uh, um, trim. dressing trim around the edges. Oh, okay, that so makes you, sense. So, yeah, you put them around the edge. Hmm. Turns out I've got a third dash fascia as well. I've got another wood grain one that I've taken out and put somewhere safe. Yeah, yeah there's all sorts of stuff in here. More hubcaps and... Uh, yeah. This is like bloody Christmas. It is, isn't it? We've been digging through here earlier today. Yeah, because I definitely had a set of them on my HZ Premier. Yep. Yeah. No, this is perfect. Like I said, you like you got everything you need <laughs> for this car, which is sensational. Yeah, to very get it lucky. gone. Very and lucky. If you need some need some cash for the car. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's some excess things in there. You can yeah. certainly make a few bit of coin off. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Nah, very lucky. Yeah, yeah. And some of these things are worth a fortune these days. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. That sure stuck. Shuts not. Oh, good. So. Mate, this is your bike. You got an R1. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a quick bit about this one. 50th anniversary model, 2007, uh, the aftermarket exhaust, power yep. commander, Yogi knobs, and to be honest, I've never actually ridden this bike, so. Yeah, never ridden it. <laughs> he who dies with the most toys wins, right? <laughs> okay, fair enough then. Fair enough. So yeah. it just sit here as a decoration piece? Yeah, pretty much. I, I pose on it occasionally, you know, a bit for Insta. Yeah, but yeah. No. <laughs> I don't have any of that. But, um, nah, I, um, originally, the day I had my accident, I uh, was going to go and buy a, um, a GSX R1000, yep. um, and then I fell 15 meters, got seriously injured, and then I wanted to at least, uh, yeah, had my heart set on getting a bike, so yep. I've got it. But now I feel I'm too fragile to ride it. So, okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah. So in truth, my mum takes it out and rides it for me. So oh, <laughs> gotta be happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, she is. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, but maybe bit, one day. It's a, it's a nice cruising bike. So I know these for uh, for a fact. These things go hard. Absolutely. There's no problem with them all get up and boogieing, that's for sure. No, I think they're speed limited to somewhere just shy of 300 kilometers an hour is my understanding. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Doing 300 kilometers an hour in this thing, you, you better be strapped in, man, yeah. bloody hell. I uh, broke five vertebrae in my back and uh, yeah, broke yeah, some yeah. in my neck as well. So um, I just, I don't know, I feel I'd seize up and um, yeah, I'm a bit too fragile. But uh, Yeah, yeah, for that you'd be cool. better off with like a, a cruising bike rather than a sports bike where you're leaning over and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I figure if I do ride, it's going to be on one wheel, so... Uh, yeah, fair no. enough, man. <laughs> cool. To the next accident. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it won't awesome. be long, I'm sure. <laughs> Nah, wicked. Alright, well let's go check out the pinballs. Yes. Yeah, so Alright, so 
Phil and I are starting to feel a bit like pinball wizards, mate. Every, every <laughs> time we, we've seen so many pinball machines at people's houses, you know, which means you guys have a strong community of, of pinballers and you really also have people. cars and, you know, so that's all, it all sort of works in well, doesn't it? We like the finer things in life, uh, what can I say? Yeah, but, that's uh, it. That's meet it, some mate. really good people in the community and good people like yourselves as well. So, um, Mikasa, Sukasa, you guys are welcome anytime. Awesome, mate. We appreciate that. Thanks <laughs> no so much. And for now, I'm going pinballing. See you guys. <laughs> Thanks heaps, man, for having us here today, man. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Love to have a look around your cars, mate. I reckon awesome. that Monaro, I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'll take you for um, a spin when she's all built. Mate, I'll, we will look forward to that. Perfect. 100%. Thank so, you very much, guys. Thanks again, mate. And, cool. um, yeah, we'll see you around the traps. Like and subscribe. Yes, definitely. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Well done. Cool. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time. Cool. Bye. What's this all about? Like something a little bit different. I know it's not going to appeal to your whole uh, to the to the user um, sort of viewer base that you guys have got. But um, during COVID and lockdown, I needed a new hobby and something to spend uh, stimulus on. Yeah. And um, yeah, I thought, went out and thought I'd buy all the things that I could never have as a as a kid. Um, not saying I was poor, but um, definitely wanted to get some Jordans and tick them off. Wow, my list. that's it. I mean, what the original Jordan ones are now selling for over twenty five thousand or more. Yeah. So yeah. if you can get your hands on them, and if you want to spend that much on a pair of shoes, but uh, um, I'd be too tempted to wear them. Not for yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. Considering like when we had them when when they first came out when we were kids, it's like ah, oh, just a pair of shoes. We never thought that. It'd be worth like this, but then again, we never thought gonna... these would be worth like this exactly either. Exactly so, right. Um, my, I know my son would be highly jealous. This is why but, I brought them out. <laughs> yeah, because he collects all this as well, and he's like, I think he's got 30 pairs, he's not even 18. Oh, Whatever it's... he's got, but like, I don't even know half of it, but he loves them. Yeah. Uh, I do know I bought these ones and um, I put them on and the guy in the shop was just like oh, he's like you're not going to wear them are you and I was like yeah of course I am and um, yeah. anyway he's like you'll never find another pair and then um, everywhere I went with them people were like bro do you know what's on your feet and, yeah. um, and then I decided that I shouldn't have worn them and then it took me a long time to find another pair yeah. um, finally managed to get a pair from America that I've got so now an unworn and a worn pair but um, nah, perfect yeah no, you oh, haven't got a great set of shoes here. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like these are unbelievable. Yeah, never anything to go with my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, for me, I wouldn't. I, I just wear the same pair of shoes every day. So for me, this would be a waste. No. But yeah, each to their own. But look, you've definitely done well. Sweet. Oh, thank you, guys. Awesome. Uh, I thought it was funny when I was in a wheelchair because then I was like, you can wear them and never put any like tread on them, and uh, it was the best <laughs> yeah. of both worlds. And I, I got good parking yeah. spots too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but no, apart from that, all jokes aside, nice, <laughs> nice, all good. Well, Sweet. thanks for showing us this. It's not a part of the collection, and you got heaps awesome, to yes. show us. So, love Sweet. it. Onwards love and it. upwards. Yep, that's it. All Thank good. You.